guys and welcome to this week's video. I hope you guys all doing well. Let me know in the comments one positive thing you've done this week because I'd love to know and we should all spread some positivity together. So this week's video is a video I haven't done in probably more than half a year because what is there to talk about right now? <laughs> So it's literally just a bunch of favourites that I've been loving recently and I just really thought it was time to share them with you guys because I have reoccurring favourites, other things like books, music, TV shows. I'm gonna share it with you guys because if you're not down like me, you might want to find something different. So hopefully I will provide that service and give you something exciting to discover. So if you do want to know what I've just been obsessed with recently, then just carry on watching this video. I'm just going to jump straight into the beauty side of things and I do want to talk about something I've been using for quite a while and it is the Glossier Milky Oil Waterproof Makeup Remover. It is quite a small bottle, I can't remember how much it is, I think it's like £18. I usually go for the simple dual eye makeup remover and that's a oil water based one that you just shake. This is the same concept and I actually use this literally just for my eye makeup because I find that oil based cleansers are better for eye makeup, especially waterproof mascara and then I just use a general cream cleanser for the rest of my face. Even though we're on lockdown and I haven't used much of this because I've not been wearing any makeup. Today is the second day in like two weeks that I've worn makeup. Just because I'm filming this video and I don't want you guys to see me looking like a toe. But this is amazing. Normally I've tried like oil based cleansers before and they usually make my eyes feel quite oily. Simple doesn't and I wanted to try glossing one because I needed to get my bomb.com and my Wilder powder so I thought I'd try this and this doesn't either. This is really really good. You just shake it, squeeze a bit onto a cotton pad and away you go and I really really like it. I don't know if I'll repurchase it because it works exactly the same way as the simple one so I'll just repurchase that because it's cheaper but for trying something different this is quite worth it so highly recommend it and I just love the Glossier style of minimal packaging it's just so pretty and the next favourite is something you would actually use after cleansing and it is Lush's Beauty Sleep Face and Body Mask I first got this as a sample in the kitchen box in June, I think, where they were kind of trialing it out with subscribers, and I really, really liked it. And then they released it into store a couple months later, and then I've not looked back since. It is probably my favourite Lush face mask ever. I tend to go for the fresh face masks. I did really, really, really used to like Brazen Honey, which is the one you keep in the fridge. They discontinued that, so I don't know where to turn. I tried Mask of Magnum Minty. I do like it, but it's not my favourite. And then I just wanted something a bit more different, a bit less fresh feeling, but more relaxing. And they brought Beauty Sleep out, and this is my third pot. I've got bigger and bigger <laughs> as I repurchase it. This is the 315 grams, it's like £23 but it's amazing. You've got loads of different ingredients. I'm not even gonna read every single one out, but the main ones are lemon verbena and valerian root extracting in honey. You've got dookie beans, bentonite gel, neroli oil. You've also got some fresh coconut. I mean, just look at all those ingredients. You can't even read that properly, but that is quite a lot. It does tend to leak as well, so I've got face mask juice <laughs> on my fingers, which I'm going to wipe on my joggers because I'm not going anywhere. 
today, but it is really, really relaxing. I will quickly show you guys what it looks like. It looks like raspberry yogurt. That's the vibe I get. It's the same scent as Gorgeous Facial Moisturiser, which is the most expensive facial moisturiser you can get from Lush. And it's just a very, very strong scent. I like to pop it on when I have a bath, after a shower, or I just generally want to make myself feel relaxed, make my skin feel softer, more nicer, and yeah, I absolutely love it. And I'm going to clean my fingers up because they are now sticky. <laughs> the other Lush product I have been obsessed with is my third, I think, my third spray bottle of a body spray and it is Sex Bomb Body Spray, which is one of my favourite ever, ever, ever Lush scents. And I have loved this scent since I first discovered Lush and the joys it brings since 2014, which is a, a very, very long time. And it is literally Jasmine and Clary Sage. That is like the main base of the scent. And it's just so good. You can probably hear I'm nearly finished already. So I'm gonna order more of this pretty soon. I'm gonna wait till payday because obviously I'm on furlough and I can't keep spending money. But I absolutely love this. I go through this like crazy. I spray on every single time. I get ready for the day and I do have like five other body sprays from Lush but this is one that I tend to reach for way more and it's just so nice. So if you like something that's kind of warm but also nice and floral and quite uplifting but also relaxing at the same time because this has every element in there. So I highly recommend it. If you're not too sure, don't want to commit a full £20 to it. They have obviously this scent in the bath bomb, which is just three ninety five, I think. So literally pick that up, see what you think, and then get the body spray because it is really, really nice. The other things for beauty that I'm really liking are actually nail paints. I hardly talk about nail paints because I always use the same barrier nail paints over and over and over again. But recently I was in Boots and I saw a brand that I've heard of but never tried and it is called My Mood and Boots recently brought in a whole counter full of their nail paints and I treated myself to free. I have one called Smiley which is this really pretty kind of pink toned shimmer glitter nail paint. I've got it on my fingers right now, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of very iridescent and it just looks like this. The other ones I've also used from the range are Happy, which is this really pretty kind of green tone turquoise. And then I've got more of a bluey purple toned one called Peace. I've used both of these. I feel like they would be nail paints that you would have to do like two or three layers because I did two layers and they did last about a week and then they started to chip off. But I really like them because I like the colours and I don't have colours like these. And the good thing is these are all vegan. So if you're looking for cruelty free alternatives, my mood is a really good option if you're not too keen on Barry M, which I don't know why you wouldn't be. But I just love the colours. They are very summery. So I wanted to bring a bit of brightness to my nails at this time of year. So yes, those are my beauty favourites. On to more lifestyle things and I want to rave about this candle that I got from TK Maxx last year. It's called Fireside Gathering. Not only is the packaging a very, very... I don't know where my camera cut off because my card became full so it stopped recording. But I was gonna say, this is literally the most kind of like incense comforting, like fireside gathering scent. Hence the name. And the really cool thing is, because it's like a wooden like wick in the middle, it crackles and pops like an actual fire. So you feel like you're camping, but you're indoors in your room. 
and it's a very very relaxing comforting sound I'm literally halfway through it I would say go to TK Maxx and buy it but number one it's limited stock and number two it's closed so <laughs> I don't know if TK Maxx have it online I might have it on there but I really like it and I'll be very very sad when it finishes because I should have bought another one but there was only one of them there the next thing I want to talk about is actually a book. Also, I'm going to self promo myself. My last video was about the top books of 2020, so go and watch that if you want to know what I loved last year. But what I loved really, really recently is A Room Called Earth by Madeline Ryan. And this was published last week. I got it last week. I read it in the day. And it is one of my favourite ever books of this year so far and I know it's literally only January but it's a strong statement. Not only is the colour very very aesthetically pleasing, very Instagrammable, it is a very very easy to read book, a really good storyline and I'm going to explain it to you. It follows basically a young woman who's preparing for a party and it's that she goes 24 hours of her getting ready and then going home from the party and lots of things happen in between. There's a lot of anecdotes about her life so you get to know what she's like. She's nameless so you never know what her name is. She's got a really cute ginger cat called Pork Chop and talks about her past relationships, spiritual beliefs, she believes in like astrology, she's got very very interesting strong views about how people should live their lives, they shouldn't be scared of death and I really really enjoy this. I zoomed through this because I was literally sucked in to the way that this author writes a book and there's a lot about the patriarchy, how women are expected to present themselves, how they're supposed to act but this character is like no I'm doing my own thing, I do not care and there's a lot of like sexual imagery as well, especially with flowers. And I really, really enjoy this book. So I think it's a book everyone should read this year. It's very insightful, very eye-opening as well. And it left me kind of thinking about how I should move towards self-love, things like that. Like you are your own person, you can make yourself happy. You can do some meditation, self-healing, that, that's the kind of vibe I got from it. Other things I have been loving, so number one, my number one song on Spotify on my on repeat playlist is Man's World by Marina. It came out last November and I've literally listened to it almost every single day. Again, it's a very, very feminist song and I'm obsessed with it. The guitar riff, the lyrics. Marina herself absolutely love it so if you're looking for something different I highly recommend you listen to it because it is a bop it is chef's kiss the best song she's probably released that's a very strong statement because I've got many 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 songs I love from her the other things that I've been loving obviously Animal Crossing I am playing that every single day I'm gonna play it after I film this video and probably edited it. Other things, Drag Race, especially Drag Race UK. I literally just finished the first season and I just started the second season and I'm obsessed with it. It is obviously very British because it is set in the UK but it's just amazing. I love Drag Race. It's kind of, I've always been aware of like drag queens and the drag scene but I've never actually looked or like gotten into the whole scene but I love it I first watched Drag Race I think last lockdown and I'm already on like season 10 I'm really at the end of it of the American version so watching the UK version was totally different but I love it because the sense of humour is so British and funny and yeah I can't wait for the second episode tonight at 7 and it will also to bring myself some inner peace, some happiness. I've also followed a lot of the drag queens on Instagram and it's literally just given so much vibrancy to my feed and I'm living for it because 
drag queens are literally giving me serotonin. <laughs> And it's just my happy place watching Drag Race so I can forget about the pandemic and everything. So yeah, that is things I have been loving recently. If you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you've been liking recently as well in the comments. And I will see you guys very, very soon. I think as a heads up, my next video will probably be the next kitchen box on opening. So keep your eyes out for that and I will see you guys very very soon. Goodbye!